Blessings, witchy soul travelers. You are joining Priestess Melissa of the Nushan Empress Oracle for your Witch's Wisdom Oracle card reading. For this Wednesday, we will be tapping in to see what's going on as our main energy from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards, Eight of Pentacles and Knight of Swords do we have. Yes, hard at work, perhaps getting some kind of truth about our finances today, perhaps. All of the hard work we've been putting in. Are we looking closely at how perhaps to increase that abundance at this time? That is certainly the message I have been receiving a lot lately in the reading. So I feel like money is on our mind. I got my money on my mind. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Yeah, who is relating out there? We're going to be tapping in also to the vice versa tarot to clarify our jackal lantern tarot and see what's going on. We will get some advice from our forest bay cards. We will also get love advice from the lover's oracle cards. And do get your question ready for the end because we will answer it with our divination coin my dear yes so do get your question ready now these are general readings which may or may not resonate with each and every one of you however if any part does or you love my witchy vibe hit that like button below and let me know in the comments how these are resonating thank you so much to the angels ancestors way showers and guides honoring you for the messages for our beautiful collective for the Switchy Wednesday, dear. And if you need a personal reading, my darlings, do not hesitate to reach out to venusianways.org. I will not solicit you for a reading. You be aware of that. There's been a lot of those scams going on out there, as you do know, darling. Which is wisdom? Show us what we need to know for our beautiful collective. Shout out to all of you, and do keep those likes, comments, shares, donations, subscribes coming, and do the that bell notification so you don't miss any of the readings. Show us what we need to know for our witchy Wednesday. Ooh, familiar, guardian. Familiar in Spanish means familia, which means family, so... Somebody could be alerting you at this time, could be a family member, could be your fur baby that has been giving you some kind of signals, perhaps, that something is going on around you, that you need to protect yourself, my dear. Put that circle of protection around your feet as you see with this card. Imagine yourself in the middle of this circle and ask for this protection around you. Return to sender energy is a big energy that I feel coming through here at this time. Respect and pentacle, again with the circle and the pentacle in the center. Perhaps you're needing to protect your money at this time. 333 three, three coming through. All right, because we've got a golden frog here and frogs are all about prosperity. For those who didn't know, you can put one out in front of your doorway and it is to help bring even more prosperity into your home. All right, so are we having to guard and watch ourselves, perhaps from a family member, <laughs> in relation to maybe someone trying to take something from us? Very interesting energy. Let us tap in and see what's going on today. A familiar has turned up to assure you that you are never alone. For whether your path is an easy one or a struggle right now, you have a very real guardian and helper that is waiting to be called upon through the ether. Once you have asked for assistance in your magical work, use your diligence to be aware of the form that your assistance takes. You may notice a cat hanging around your back door, or you may be greeted by the tapping of a bird on your window. Your guardian may work with you through the form of a spirit animal guide. 
look to an animal that you have always felt affinity with. Notice the repetition of animals, including mythical and mystical, that you may have within your home through books, paintings, figurines, or prints. So what are these animals perhaps or magical or mythical creatures that may be around your home in paintings, in books, things of that nature? Have you had any animals visiting your home um, you know, like the bird tapping on the window or the cat at the back door. Let me know down in the comments below. Very, very mysterious. For they will reveal to you the familiar who has accompanied you through the mist of time and will never leave your side, not even for a moment. Which is foresight says, do not be afraid to ask for assistance. You have a strong bond with a trusted animal. Call upon your familiar. Look for signs in the animals that come into contact with you. Study the meanings of different animal medicine energy. Help is at hand. And here is your spell for this week, my darlings. A bark, meow, squawk, or song. Look who appears. It is never wrong. Lighten your load, call to your side. Your new best friend, your familiar guide. This magic is worked with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. So you will have to let me know what familiar, what animal has been showing up for you or does show up for you within the next, say, 24 hours, all right? There is something that this animal is trying to teach you, all right? Perhaps trying to alert you to some danger around you. Again, there could be, um, I was getting this energy of someone lurking, almost like a home burglary kind of energy with that money, right? And the protection energy. Make sure that you've got the protection that you need on your home. I mean, I personally have cameras. My cameras are hooked up to the police department. So yeah, I dare you to try to come and, you know, try to ruin all of my hard work because I'm gonna ensure that I protect myself. Maybe the next thing I need to do is get a card talk or something. I will say today, I did see a, um, it looked like what a child had cut out as an owl and had taped it in their window. That was pretty cool. And I relate to the owl for sure. High Priestess and Three of Cups. You may be alerted to something of this nature. Beyond guard, I was hearing too, like if you go out and have like uh, drinks with people or you're with a crowd of people, don't talk too much about what it is that you have, right? Appreciate what you have, but don't give people the opportunity to try to perhaps take from you in some way. You just never know who is listening uh, to your conversation, you know, especially when you're least expecting it, when you're around your family or people you think you can trust, well, watch out, you know. You could have someone trying to come in fast to try to affect your Nine of Cups energy. You're, or maybe you're having something come in fast to you. Maybe people are seeing that you are receiving this abundance. And you know, that doesn't always set well with people. Um, and instead of them trying to go out and get their own Nine of Cups, right? Their own happiness. They want to try to take from other people's. Like they deserve to do that just because they haven't earned theirs. You know what I'm saying? Six of Wands, yeah, you're definitely celebrating or at least doing really well at this time. Uh, maybe people are feeling like you're on your high horse, though. You know, like, just because you're doing well, like, you can't celebrate that, you know? Because you've had to work hard for this, is what I see. There were a lot of things that perhaps didn't work out for you in the past with that Seven of Pentacles energy in reverse. You had to take some L's for sure. And uh, maybe part of that was in the love department. Maybe this is how you came into some money or, you know, success and happiness was because 
something or this could be an energy where everything is working out but the love energy you know so death energy this is kind of scary because I almost got the energy that you know someone hopefully would not be trying to cause harm to you but again we do have the guardian energy maybe you need to get a guard dog or Again, pay attention to the animals that are coming around you, look into their energy, um, and pay attention to any signs around you, repeating numbers, any of those things. That's what we do as intuitive people, right? We pay attention to the signs so we can lay those burdens down, we can put them behind us, we can put an end you know, to anybody who wants to try to come in and cause harm to us. Page of Wands in reverse, absolutely halting them in their tracks for the outside energies. No, you are not coming in here to steal, kill, and destroy, right? We are definitely clear as far as hopes, wishes, and fears. We are not in two minds. If this is you, you know exactly what you've dealt with in the past and what you don't want to deal with in the future. Be aware, though, there's always people out there trying to you know, sweetly or, you know, with the, just the right words. Oh yes, watch those wands energies. You know, they, they say all the right words to get in there, right? Um, they act more humble is what it feels like with this Knight of Wands energy, but then quickly turn into this King of Wands energy and Ten of Pentacles. Or this could be you leveling up from this Knight of Wands energy to this King of Wands energy right and people are seeing this you know if this hasn't happened yet maybe it is soon to happen and uh you know how it is there can be a lot of haters out there when you're doing well and uh i mean i think we all find it challenging at one point or another in our lives even if we don't wish bad upon people we still feel like dang you know like when is my turn gonna come I'm ready to have good stuff happen for me too. What the hell? <laughs> All right, so let's see. What is this Nine of Cups energy coming out with the familiar? Let us look at this. Nine of Cups. Clarifying is the Two of Cups. Ooh, somebody could see that you're happy. And they want to come in and ruin this happiness almost is what it feels like. Hopefully not a family member say it isn't so. Six of Wands energy. Oh, wow. Now we've got the lovers in reverse. What is this all about? So somebody definitely wants to try to ruin some kind of happiness that you have going on at this time is what it feels like. Oh, yeah. It feels like someone is always trying to, unfortunately, come in and uh, have control over a situation. You know, it's like they come in for the wrong reasons. It's like, what is the, what path are you going down with this person? In the past, it looks like it was just more of a power play and not one where you were really working together or you were being affected um, from being able to go down a path that actually would have, that would have served you better. Yeah, I think you realized that you were dealing with a karmic uh, situation, perhaps with that Six of Cups in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse, rising after this situation. Uh, yeah, because again, you know, you really feel pretty or felt pretty happy anyway, maybe this is the current energy, but maybe, you know, you're also finding out about something else. This is very interesting. It's almost like, you know, even though you're having success in something right now or something is okay, I hope this isn't like a family situation where somebody's trying to come in and uh, juggle, right? Because this is definitely going to be a, a quickie type of thing is what I see here. You know, it's going to leave you like what just happened, you know, so I, I feel like it's very important for us to be careful and be aware of what is working and what isn't working, what we need to cut out. Look at things closely, all right, before you make a decision, before you cut yourself off from something. Ten of Wands in reverse. It feels like this is going to put 
a lot of burdens behind you though. Things that have been causing you to feel disempowered, especially if you're a feminine energy, right? And this will definitely leave you in a pretty uh, pissed off situation if like now you don't have the burdens, but at the same time, you don't have the energy, you know, to move forward, right? It's almost like you have no love for whatever it is that you've been putting your energy into any longer. Maybe this is someone that you thought was here to protect you. You know what I mean? But they turned their back on you. Turned their heart away from you. Decided not to go down this path any longer with you. Maybe you were thinking that everything was okay when in fact it wasn't. And somebody could have been dealing with the Queen of Wands energy. You know? And even though someone perhaps maybe at this point has put that behind them, this is not something you can move forward with. Yeah. I think you feel pretty sure that this is going to be a divorce or an end to a long-term situation, you know? It's like certain things you just really can't come back from, you know? Eight of Swords energy. You're really gonna have to stand your ground with this person, you know? Not to be bamboozled by them again, because let's face it, there are certain people that uh, can make it seem like everything is all good, right? On the surface. But you definitely got to look deeper than that and see what the real energy is going on here. Guardian. So definitely guard yourself perhaps from someone who is already out of this situation and maybe wants to come back. It's, it feels a lot like cutting your losses. Because maybe they know what they're going to lose. You know what I mean? If you end this. If you really look at this for what it is. Um, because maybe you are going to get some money out of this. Who knows? Let me know down in the comments for sure and hit the like button if you're resonating. We have an energy of mandrake spirit, which says, keep yourself rooted in the earth. Spring is coming. Dream deep. You've got much more coming for you at this time. So the mandrake energy is all about protection. And that's exactly what we've been talking about here. All right. Protect yourself. Make sure you're setting up that circle of protection around yourself, around your home. Plant some mandrake. They talk about planting it outside, around the perimeter, or in your windowsill to help keep those evil spirits out, all right? Spring is coming, and you've got a lot of good stuff coming your way is what I'm hearing. So you want to ensure that you protect yourself from any of those thieves out there, right, that just want to take from you. All right, and we also have the energy of the soothsayer. Travel the road seldom taken, all right? I love that poem, The Road Less Traveled by Robert Frost. Definitely, all right? So protect yourself, even if you are going down a path you've never gone down before, but you know and feel that it is going to lead you to much better, trust yourself and call in that protection, all right? So that you can know that you are going to be safe no matter where you go. You're always going to have your familiar, that energy about you that's going to be protecting you. could be a black cat even. But you will know. Let me know down below if you know what that familiar is for you. Butterflies could be yours also coming out here. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. If this is a relationship where you do need to separate and you know that, you know that you need to heal at this time or at least be able to pull back and see the situation more clearly, do what you need to do, 1919. All right, and also coming out today from the Lover's Oracle Cards is this energy of imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life because that's what you deserve so reflect on all of this and really see what this has taught you what you need to know so that you can move forward protected right naturally protected because you're going to be able to be in good spirits and our last card says, 
when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make, sorry, expands your understanding of life and love. Is that not true? Right? So it's like, that's why there's no mistakes. You're going to learn either way. You get to decide how long that takes or how short that takes, you know? It's all about where you are in the process and how healed we are, right? That allows us to be able to move forward and really experience all the awesomeness in our lives that we truly want. Are you ready to get an answer to your question, my dears? Let's do it in three, two, one. And our answer for today is a big yes. Woohoo! I love it. All right, guys, you have a wonderful witchy Wednesday. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know below how this is resonating. Subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll see you tomorrow for Love Tea Thursday. Bye for now.